Films called My Old School. We've sent some one show guests back to their places of learning to recapture what made their school days so special. Tonight, broadcaster Peter White revisits his old school and meets up with an old friend. Well, this is my old school. It was Worcester College for the Blind when I first arrived. I was 11 years old and I boarded here until 1966. I was absolutely delighted to have got through. To this school if you were blind back in the 50s it was the passport to the rest of life this does feel different it had much more an intimidating sense than it has now i suppose the fact of the matter is that when i came through that door for the first time i was pretty scared when i was here i'd have probably run down this corridor and jumped down these steps which lead to the gymnasium. Probably won't do that today, I think. Ah, the gym. Now this doesn't seem any different at all. Same smell, bit indefinable, sweat and something else. <laughs> the acoustic tells you that it's high and also quite light because I've got some light perception. The thing I remember most about this gym was that this is where we used to have our dancing classes and girls would be wheeled up from the city of Worcester to dance with us. And I always imagined that this was some kind of punishment for them. You know, Monica, you've been a very naughty girl, go up and dance with the blind boys. You always hoped that something miraculous would happen, but not very much happened at all. Now, this is the place that I absolutely gravitated to, the library. I was here on the first night clambering about, looking for books, and after a short time I was taking them out, stealing them, hiding them under my bed, because <laughs> Braille, I suppose, has always been my, uh, my be-all and end-all, really, a bit of a refuge. I have found here the print copy of the Pimpernel, which was the school magazine that I edited. I thought it was rather conventional and uncritical. Uh, reports of the school play and so forth, and I changed it and <laughs> turned it into something which was uh, somewhere between a, a, a cross between Marxism today and private eye. It was quite a political magazine and it ruffled a few feathers, but it pleased me. I wasn't exactly a perfect science student. I would do unfortunate things like bend too close to Bunsen burners. And uh, my science teacher once found me blowing into a wolf's bottle, which um, I think has acid in it but you know you see a bottle you've got a straw thing you want to blow in it don't you it's natural i remember him saying to me once white i'd rather have a barrel load of monkeys in my lab than you i met my friend and uh, fellow rebel although we were rebels of a different kind i think i was a sort of political rebel and you were more of a sort of social well, rebel. Was, he was the clever one i was the booze girls sport and rock and roll that, that was my well, you can't really call it a philosophy. Pete and I went to quite a few of the local pubs and played together, and I think that gave us confidence. Got us into a fair bit of trouble, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. Do One evening in particular, I think. Yeah, we went to the Holly Bush. You played the accordion. I did, Because yeah. there wasn't a piano. That's right. And I played the ukulele banjo. That's it. And we took the hat round, and we raised... About Nearly 30 quid, I think. Some snitch rang the school... And said we... And said there were, there were, there were blind boys begging, or something like that, and we got back and there was the headmaster yeah. waiting for us reception committee and the money was taken and handed it was, over it was, it was that was awful scandalous it was a single sex school there was no natural relaxed interplay with girls that's uh, true at that stage i needed to see girls more as just you know around the place it taught to find a you to think about your appearance you actually had to go out and get them and, and i think it it stood me in good stead for real life Confidence is such a key thing for a blind person to, to have. And coming here today has made me realise how really lucky I was because I certainly gained an awful lot of confidence, I think, from the attitudes of my parents. But I gained a lot from this college as well. And to have both is really maybe more than you could expect reasonably. Peter White, what a great bloke.